Hello everyone. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about improvement and getting better at something and how to get better at something. Not necessarily how to be the best, but just how to, you know, improve your skill at something. Um, so we'll talk about squad. We we'll use squad as an initial example, and then we'll move on to other examples outside of gaming. So what does it mean to get better? Uh, it means that you're taking your previous skill and you're building upon it and you're noticing mistakes that you're making and you're correcting them and and essentially performing better or, or um, more efficiently or uh, just just learning or using new skills to improve how you execute a certain task. And in squad, a lot of people ask me this question, Karma, how do I get better at squad? And I kind of have this general way that Whenever, when I, whenever I want to improve at something, whenever I have a task that I'm like, I suck at this, I want to get better at this, there's a very clear way that I go about doing it. Um, the first step is figuring out what I'm doing wrong or how, like the, the mistakes I notice I'm making. So in squad, one of the first things that I ever learned because uh, I know squad is a really steep learning curve. One of the first things that I noticed was very important was sound. And I talk about this in a, a couple, other, couple other beginner videos, but sound. Sound is an incredibly important tool in squad. It's like 50% of the game is sound. Like knowing the guns uh, and how they sound, uh, how far they are, knowing the mortars, how far the mortars are, the directions the mortars are coming from, uh, when they splash, if it's HE or if it's smoke, like sounds will tell you a lot. If someone's reloading, bandaging, walking around a corner, sprinting around a corner, um, because, you know, if you know certain things, you know, hey, he's going to be, you know, running around this corner. He is, I, if I come around the corner with my gun up, he has to stop sprinting and shoot me and I'll be ready for him. So a lot of minute decisions when I play are based upon the sound. Uh, if I hear smoke splash instead of HE when, it, when it's uh, coming down to mortars, I know smoke splashing, they're going to try to infantry push. Uh, weapon sounds. I know if it's, you know, an AK and I'm playing as US, I know it's an enemy player around the corner, right? So that's one of the first things I noticed was I didn't know all the sounds. That's one of the first things was I have no idea what gun that is. I have no idea what direction that's coming from. I have no idea what that movement sound is. Um, that was the first thing. So the step one is identifying the problem or identifying the thing that you know that you're bad at. And sometimes that's really hard to do because if you're really jumping into a subject that you have no 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 information on, it can be really hard to identify what you're doing wrong. Um, so in that case, my my advice to you would be to ask someone like, "Hey, uh, what are a couple tips that you have, or, or uh, what are some things that you when you observe me or some things that you're noticing?" Um, and be able to take to take criticism. Right, uh, mentor figures are really important. Uh, that's why like the veteran players in squad. Uh, have a huge responsibility to pass their knowledge down to the newer players but looking for a mentor or someone with that knowledge to kind of uh, teach you a little bit does help accelerate that process but yeah step one acknowledge and find the problem step two focus on that problem and only that problem so once you've identified the thing that kind of is is lacking or the thing that you're bad at the next thing you want to do is focus the entirety of your energy um, when it comes to the next match on fixing that one problem. You're going to do these things step by step. Improvement happens step by step. You don't go from newbie to pro player in one day. You just don't. It's an incremental learning process and half the battle is understanding that and knowing that you're not going to become a god at squad overnight. It's going to be a long grind. For some people, it's a short grind, depends on the person, but it's going to be a grind where you're learning things incrementally, incrementally, and it comes down to focusing on each individual thing that you want to improve. So one game, you know, the next game I jump into, if let's say I notice that I'm lacking in, in noticing the squad sounds, I'll focus like, all right, today and only today, I'm just going to focus on the sounds. I'm going to literally try to absorb as much as I can with my ears and I'll just play squad or play whatever game it is I'm trying to learn the sounds with and I'll just focus on the sounds 
uh, even if my my gameplay of my visually my gameplay suffers, so long as I'm improving that sound knowledge and improving um, my my skill when it comes to hearing certain things and making decisions on the sounds, that's all I'm focusing on that one day. That's it. Even if all else kind of falls apart, and so the next day, once I've gotten sounds down, I'll add other things on top of that. I'll add the next thing I want to improve. Let's say I want to improve things visually. I want to try to focus on finding player movement. Let's say I want to really be able to see where I'm getting shot from. Then you need to take the time to focus on, you know, looking for targets. You know, you take a day and you just, you, all that's all you worry about. That's all you worry about is looking for targets, right? And once you have both those down, you put them together, right? Now, the next day, you'll focus on looking for targets and listening for sounds. And you do these things step by step, incrementally. And I learned this through, <laughs> it's funny, because I learned this from piano. When I was forced to learn piano as a child, um and forced to learn certain songs and how to play certain songs and the certain skills required to play, you know, different pieces and, and you know, learning about tempo and, and the pressure to put on the, uh, on the keys and how to place your fingers and how to place your wrist and just doing each single exercise one by one, step by step. And that's the most valuable thing I took away from learning piano. As much as I hated it growing up, and I truly did hate piano almost as much as I hated school, like that's one very, very valuable lesson that I took from, from learning piano is appreciating how to learn, how to break things down into manageable steps, isolate them, work through them one by one, and then add them all together to make an amazing sound at the end of it all, right? Like these pieces that we play, like in music, you know, you need everything to work coherently. Right? You need to be you need to be pressing down on the keys with the proper amount of force. You need to make sure that your fingers are positioned correctly so you don't fumble with them. You need to be able to read the music or memorize the music or whatever the thing. All this comes together. All these different ingredients come together in this big pot to make a beautiful piece. And the same thing goes for learning anything in life. Anything. You need to be able to break it down into manageable sizes learn how to execute each one individually and slowly add them all together and that is the most basic way anyone learns anything um, so in squad that's you know focus on sounds focus on visually acquiring knowledge focus on communication these are all different things that i think a good squad player has communication the ability to hear things and make decisions based on the sound the ability to find targets and act on them uh, rapidly and then uh, communication, being able to speak what they need and say what they need to say efficiently and clearly. Um, the ability to shoot things, right? Being able to aim, um, being able to, you know, map knowledge, knowing where certain things are on the map and how you can exploit certain things, knowing that, oh, I can vault this wall or, oh, I can vault in this window. I can jump down here. I can go around this alley. The, like all these different things if you do it all together at once you just get overwhelmed and you don't improve because all you're trying to do is I'm, I'm trying to get better every day you're just i'm trying to get better and you're so focused on getting better that you are it's like taking in water through a fire hose it's just overwhelming and you can't really do it efficiently you can't really learn efficiently so the best advice whenever it comes to me learning something new um and we'll use my motorcycle as an example right learning how to ride a motorcycle um for me was was a pretty big task right if i just if i get overwhelmed i i don't absorb any of the knowledge but if i focus on everything one by one you know focus on shifting up all right i've gotten shifting shifting up down all right focus on shift down shifting right focusing on not stalling very specific tasks that i want to make sure that i i improve on and that i understand the concepts before i move on to the next thing because the last thing you want to do too is form bad habits, right? So when you do something and you're learning something, learn it properly. Don't do it half-ass because it just comes back to bite you in the ass later. Um, so, for example, when I wanted to learn how to engine brake on my motorcycle, I took a day where I was literally just telling myself, all right, today, I'm literally just going to focus on engine braking. I'm going to drive around normally, but the only thing... I'm going to really focus on 
as far as improving, you know, I'm going to pay attention to the road and everything, but the only thing I'm really going to focus on is how to engine brake properly and to make sure it's smooth and to make sure I'm not fucking anything up um, and, and to literally just engine brake properly. And once I got that down, then, you know, hey, you know what, maybe the next thing is I want to corner properly. I want to, I want to, I want to make my cornering much cleaner. I want to counter steer better or whatever it may be. And then you just slowly add up all these things individually, put them together once you are confident with them. But the last thing you want to do is just go out on the motorcycle and try to learn all these things in one ride and you're just going to end up hurting yourself, fucking up, fucking up your bike, dropping your bike or whatever the case may be. Same thing for squad, same thing for anything in life. That's the best advice I can ever give you whenever you want to improve on anything. Step one, identify the problem. Step two, isolate the problem and focus on that singular problem and improving that problem. Step three, move on to the next one and then eventually add them together and work on them together. And it's just step by step, progress happens in baby steps. Progress happens in baby steps. And that's just how you learn. So. You know, there's no, like, this is just a universal formula you can use when you're trying to learn anything. And it's just a small piece of advice that I've picked up in my life experience. Maybe, you know, you, you, you're a genius, you can figure this out already. But, uh, yeah, for those of you that are always looking for how to improve in something, you just got to focus on what you're doing bad and isolate it. Because the, the, a problem that I see a lot of players have, or a lot of just people in general, is, is they'll just overwhelm themselves by trying to do too much at once and you'll you'll be amazed at how easy it is to learn once you isolate things and you focus on that one thing becoming a master at it and then moving on to the next anyways guys that's my advice on how to get better how to learn and how to improve uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any other topics you'd like to hear me talk about or any other you know stories or whatever you want to hear um, I really do enjoy making these commentary videos, but uh, that's it for now, I'll see you in the next video.